Good evening. Welcome to City News and happy Family Day. It turned out to be a great day to be out and about in the city with such beautiful weather. I'm here at Celebration Square in Mississauga where we're seeing some people enjoying a skate and we certainly got quite lucky because wicked weather is coming our way. Heavy snowfall, windy conditions, not the type of night you want to be outside. But here's how the City of Toronto is preparing for those of us who have to be. We'll have our salt trucks out when the snow starts, first starts to accumulate on the roads and they're going to make rounds all around the city and they'll continue to do that until we start to get the accumulation on the expressways at two and a half centimeters. That's when you're going to see plows on the expressways to keep those roads safe. When we get five centimeters on the major roads, that's when you're going to see plows on major roads around the city. And then when we get to eight centimeters and the snow has stopped, that's when you'll start to see plows on your local neighborhood road. The city of Toronto says they started tracking this storm last week. They use a weather forecasting service and have weather stations set up across the city that help predict when the snow is going to fall. The bulk of the white stuff is expected to really come down late tonight into the overnight, up to 25 centimeters as possible in parts of the GTA. The city says 1,500 staff and 1,100 pieces of equipment are ready to go. The city is reminded Finding businesses and residents to take care of the snow outside their property. Also sharing this advice to those going back to school tomorrow in Toronto, Peel and York Region. Get up early, get ready to shovel your sidewalk, uh, get the kids packed and ready to go. Uh, leave in advance, leave earlier than you normally would. A reminder, when you do shovel the snow off of your property, make sure you don't throw it out on the road as it is hazardous for cyclists and drivers. And also make sure you give snow removing vehicles plenty of time and space. 